in today's news of who is Nicki Minaj falling out with now we have two new contestants who I'm pretty sure we all predicted was gonna happen at one point or another it just took some time and unfortunately here we are so in this corner of course we have Nicki Minaj in this corner we have JT former member of the City Girls and Ice Spice right so earlier today was reported that Nicki Minaj unfollowed both of them on Instagram and if you know as much as I know that could be pretty lethal you know uh, unfollow on social media it could be emotionally damaged you know because one second you're just scrolling on your phone like la 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 oh that's a cute beach picture let me like that la 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 oh that's a cute puppy let me like that la 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 oh she's still with him but I could have swore that he cheated on her let me like it anyway wait a minute my following count it was 400 now it's $3.99. Who unfollow me? Let me go check the app. <gasps> and then all of a sudden you feel betrayed, right? Like, wow, I thought we had like an online connection, an online friendship. Like what happened? I was just supporting you. I was liking all of your pictures. You know, you have a small business that's not going anywhere. I still gave it a like. Your mom's birthday was two days ago and I gave her a shout out and I don't even know the old bitch. And I still like the pictures of you and your boyfriend, even though he cheats on you every other weekend. Yet now you want to unfollow me? Like, what did I do to you, right? Like, that's how it usually goes. At least for me, I take it so personal. <laughs> but now, unfortunately, we have come to that with Nikki and JT and Ice. You know, she did a two-for-one combo. And, you know, am I surprised? No, I'm not really surprised. If anything, I'm more surprised that it took this long. You know, it's shocking because just a year ago, her and Ice Spice made a song together, Barbie World, to the movie Barbie. And now here we are a year later. And now I'm assuming, to me, unfollow on social media, it just means that we're no longer friends. Nikki was claiming, oh, Ice Spice is the princess of rap. Of what rap? And then she claimed that JT was a princess. Everybody was a princess. I was a princess at one point. You get a princess. You get a princess. She gets a Everybody was a princess, right? And then now, you know, we, we got to this. And, you know, I don't know. There's a couple of reasons why I feel like she unfollowed Ice Spice specifically. You know, Ice Spice, these text messages leaked from her former friend, allegedly, not too long ago when Ice was talking, supposedly talking bad about Nikki, saying, oh, she's kind of like a mom. She wants to be my mom. She's doing too much. She's too controlling. She needs to leave me alone. And Nikki has a record label called Heavy on it. And I feel like she probably wanted Ice Spice to join underneath her record label so she could manage her career. Manage, right? But that probably would have been the worst thing that Ice could have ever done for her career. Her career probably would have been over, even though it's kind of looking over now. But, you know, it probably would have been over the second that she signed away everything to Nicki. Because Nicki, you know, let's be realistic. Nicki would never allow another female rapper to ever even come close or to ever even try to surpass her at all. Like, if she ever saw, you know, Ice Spice even trying to, you know, get up there, you know, go for her crown or whatever, Nicki would just destroy her career right away. Like, oh, no, you're not doing any of that. JT, you see, JT is a whole different situation because JT... I was a, I'm a huge fan of the City Girls. It's unfortunate they broke up now. JT, her music alone, you know, it's a hit or miss. It is catchy. She's beautiful. I love her fashion. But I started side-eyeing side -eyeing her when she started, like, doing a little bit too much of Kiss Ass towards Nicki Minaj. She was basically in her ass 24-7, especially after they did that live together. What was it? Like a year or so ago? And Nicki basically humiliated her in front of all the fans, in front of the public. And she basically told JT, JT, I want you to recite the lyrics that you wrote about me, insulting me. And what did JT do? That's exactly what she did for Nicki. And it's just like, JT, come on now. Like, you have a backbone. Like, you know you have it in you. Like, you know, all the, all those lyrics that you and Young Miami wrote in your songs, and now you're, you're basically bowing down to Nicki. The list goes on and on of female rappers that she just does not get along with anymore. And the only one that I can see her still continuing any type of friendship is Bia. Why? Because, I mean, you know, again, realistically, where is Bia's career really going? You know, Nikki doesn't feel threatened by her. Like, Nikki probably looks at her as a joke. And she's like, oh, okay, we could be besties. And, you know, that way people, the, the public audience, they could change their perception of Mia. Oh, no, look, she is supporting female rappers. She she does get along with other women. But it's Bia. She would never have that type of relationship with Little Kim, with Cardi, with Meg, with Doja Cat. She would never praise any of them or promote any of their music online. Why? Because she probably feels threatened by them. And... It's just unfortunate because to me, Nicki Minaj was the queen at one point. She, like, she was the queen for so many years. JT, I feel like she unfollowed her probably because she saw some potential. At first, she probably took JT underneath her wing. Like, you know what? Come over here. You know, young Miami, she's going to be over there with Saucy Santana doing who knows what. <laughs> 
you come over here with your renaissance looking album cover and you know i'm pretty sure she's not really gonna go too far but then once she saw you know her album her mixtape whatever you want to call it city cinderella dropped she probably looked at jt like wait a minute hold on i see her getting some shine some more shine over my album pink friday too which was you know, terrible. Uh, wait, hold on. So then that's where her claws probably came out and she probably felt threatened. Her fan base is very delusional because, you know, with so many relationships that Nikki has managed to basically ruin and basically throw in the garbage, you know, with all these female rappers, they still continue saying, oh no, Nikki's not the problem. It's everybody else. Everybody else is constantly trying to use Nikki. They're trying to do this with Nikki, blah, 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 advance their career. And it's just like, realistically, what can Nikki really do for anybody? Like, yeah, maybe we could collab on a song and you could give me a top 20, top 10 maybe. But other than that, realistically, what are you going to do for my career? Because the second that I align myself with you, that means that I can never collab with any other female rapper. Because the second that I do, or even want to collab with Meg or, you know, Little Kim or Cardi B or anybody else, you're going to feel some type of way. Your claws are going to come out and now you're going to be sublim subliminally talking bad about me on Twitter or in your music. And then here we are. You know, I feel like the only person who's actually somewhat doing it right is Sexy Red. Sexy Red is very, she's very mutual with everybody. Like she could be fans with, she could be a fan of Nikki, but she's also a fan of everybody else. And she's not afraid of anybody else either. So, but it's only a matter of time before Nikki feels some type of way about that. And then next thing you know, you know, we're here online again talking about how she fell out with another female rapper, which I just don't like. Like Nikki, come on now, like. You know, at what point is it, is it not everybody else's problem, but it's you, you know, and it's just, it's just so damn sad. And speaking of sexy red, did anybody see the, the lip gloss line that she's dropping? <laughs> at first I'm like, oh, this is cute. You know, this is cute. A lip gloss line. And I'm like, let me look at the names of the lip gloss. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That was an interesting one. Let me, let me see the second one. Uh, oh, okay, that's, that, okay. Uh, let's, let's see this one. Uh, oh, oh, wow, blue balls. Okay, wow. Uh, how about this one? Ah, gonorrhea. <laughs> I'm like, Sexy Red, what are you doing? Like, I mean, some of the things that she's been saying and doing recently have been very questionable, especially politically, but like, what are you doing? Let me read you some of the names. So the first one here, we have Coochie Juice. All right, I hope it has a good taste to it. Next, we have Booty Hole Brown. Like, Booty Hole, could you imagine Booty Hole Brown? Like, <laughs> imagine you, you're getting ready to go to the club or whatever. Like, oh, um, hey, um, Jennifer, can you pass me some of the lip gloss? Which one? Uh, the one right there, Booty Hole Brown. <laughs> like, that just sounds crazy. The next one is Nut. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She might be on to something with that one. Like, nah, like imagine that one. Like, hold on. You know, you're getting ready for a date. Hold on. Let me put some of this nut on my lips. <laughs> like, sexy red, you, you need to stop. Like, the next one is pussy hole pink. All right. Well, at least it, it, at least it rolls off the tongue nicely. Then this is where she started losing me. Then it's yellow discharge. Like, oh, all right, interesting. And then we have gonorrhea, okay. And then blue balls, okay, that's cute. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a nice blue shade too. But blue balls, okay. And then the last one is sex on my period. I mean, will any of you be buying? <laughs> I can only imagine if these are the names for the actual lip gloss, could you imagine like her discount code? <laughs> Like, use the use discount code sexy penis or something, 64, 69, and get 25% off. Like, sexy red, come on now. Like, but I mean, it is catchy. I mean, it does get people talking. So, I mean, I guess, right? But will you be buying? What do you think about this whole situation with Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice and, you know, JT? Do you think that she's the issue? Maybe I'm not looking at this, at, at, at it this way from her perspective, but. You know, I just get frustrated with her because, again, I used to love Nicki Minaj. Like, I used to be, like, a big, huge fan of her. And it's just, I'm just so disappointed to see what she has become over these years. Like, you did not have to be like this. It didn't have to be like this. Yeah, here we are. But anyway, I'm going to go put on some of my booty hole brown and I'm going to go eat something. So <laughs> let me know what you think of these two topics down in the comments. Bye, everybody. Mwah.